Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, this is Scrage again, back with another Madness 16 across the Obelisk run on the new patch. Um, I am bringing three of the new characters, Zach, Gustav, Bree, and then Otis as the, the only standover from old uh, characters. Um, this time, I, I'm going to change up my perks just slightly. Um, let's lose the max health, gain one speed and one mark charge, and then... Um, I don't know if there's anything else that matters. Uh, oh, I could gain a, an extra powerful charge. That seems good. Um, okay, so yeah, we're bringing a powerful charge now as before we weren't an extra speed and a mark and i'll talk about in a sec why i'm actually bringing mark on him um yeah let's get into the run and uh see how it goes it all started on okay that was a quick re-roll um i do really want this grave on a row on the road um, node. That's basically the only thing I cared about. Um, all of this other stuff is is fine, but uh, I I want this for Zek getting the ring there, and it's an easy event for him. So that's the that's the main that's the main reason I wanted to restart there. And so let me go into a little bit of my reasoning for this team. Um, Zek, I just think his starting deck is very good. Um, these Curse of Shadows, like. It is an incredible amount of dark and uh, to apply for two. Um, we also have these dark packs, which are pretty decent. Curse of Exhaustions, we can upgrade to burn out of the deck, and so they're pretty, they're fine. Removing the speed can be quite good, and adding a slow is interesting. Black Death, I think, is like, this card is so good. <laughs> it applies, like, just looking at it here, so it jumps three times, so it's four hits. And currently, I have three extra dark charges. Um, so that's 20 dark applied for one. It doesn't even really matter how much damage it does. Sometimes it does a bunch because you, your discard pile is big. Like you draw it and you have 10 cards in your discard and then it deals a, a bunch of damage. But even when you cast it like on the first turn, you're still just adding 20 dark um, for one, which is incredible. Um, so that card's very good. I think the Dark Rituals are also very good. I mean, these are uh, the uh, uncommons. And uh, his deck has, like, starts out with, uh, like, these are all just uncommons. And then we have a rare here. And then a, a better than rare. This is, like, an epic level card. It's very good. And so your, your deck just starts out with a lot of pretty decent cards. And uh, it's pretty low cost to upgrade them. So I can show you... Um, my the deck that I've been running with him. Um, I've been running this version. Um, so it's only 348 for the upgrades. We're just upgrading the Curse of Exhaustions. We're adding a Cauterize, a Scroll of Speed, and a Prismatic Field to get rid of the Shadow um, uh, Shadow Bolts. I think the Shadow Bolts are fine. Like You could keep those in. I just think the he deals more damage when you're just like actively trying to proc the dark. Um, and uh, these, you just do, do that better with Curse of Shadows. And so early on, like you, you, you don't have a ton of energy to, to actually use all your cards. So you want to like be careful about what you actually are um, spending your energy on. Um, and so we will buy this deck for him. Or not this one, uh, this one. Um, and then for Gustav... Um, I haven't totally figured out his, his, his stuff yet. So this, this version is what I've been running. Um, it's really nice. The sweet melodies, I think are very good. They help alleviate Otis's need to dispel. Um, you get these whispering lies, which once Mark starts stacking up, these are pretty decent. You have an uproot, um, the toxic rains, which are great. The chant of accuracies are actively bad at the beginning of the run, like, uh, right now with this comp, um, 
I think, uh, like, obviously, my earlier run that I have posted is Gustav and Sylvie, and Chant of Accuracies in that run are incredible. They're very good, right? Um, because he gets to then put them on somebody else who then takes advantage of it. Um, I think with how I'm using him right now, they aren't great, but um, they do burn out of the deck, and that's fine for now. Um, but, uh, yeah, so his deck, I think, is pretty decent. Um, also, not a huge cost. It's only 522. Um, Bree, um, one thing I'm doing with uh, her is uh, bringing a bunch of Intimidates. So these really help you, like, focus down a certain character in the fight within the first turn or two. And then I think in most fights, like, if you're able to focus down the most important character, most important enemy, um, then, it, like, the fight gets so much easier to then you sort of heal up and take care of the, everyone else along the way. So I think the Intimidates are quite good. Also very good in the in the fight against Yelmer. You really want as much Mark as you can get in that fight. And so having an additional source, which is a pretty decent one, is pretty is really great. Um, bringing a guard, because I think the guard is pretty nice. I'm going to actually adjust her deck right now. Because um, I had some thoughts since the last time I, I ran with her. So I am still going to grab the guard and the two Intimidates. Um, but I'm going to adjust, I think, a little bit of what else I'm doing. We're also grabbing the Repair Armors. And then I'm taking out these Pommels. They just uh, don't deal that much damage early on. And uh, don't really normally want to cast them. Um, I'm going to take out a Spike Shield. That may seem a little bit weird, but... Uh, I think it's fine. We're doing that, and then we're taking out um, an invigorating blow. I think the the issue with her deck is or that I was having is it was just costing a little bit too much, and so um, one thing I'm going to do is uh, change the upgrades. So I'm going to have three of the one cost upgrades for intimidate, one zero cost. Um, but then I also wanted to have a second way of getting vitality. An invigorating blow is sort of like a one cost if you, I mean, obviously the next turn, but one cost way of getting in uh, uh, vitality. And she um, it has the um, perks that uh, let it stick around, so it's a little bit better. Um, and so I think that that will be pretty good. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's her deck. And then um, Otis's deck, I'm going to change a little bit. Um, we're grabbing the Dawn Lights, um, and then we are grabbing the Healing Reigns. Um, but I'm not going, I had been grabbing a Dispel Magic in the past. I'm not gonna grab that this time. I've just had like a couple too many, or a few too many times where he fails to get Starfall from the Dryad. And it's interesting because I do have Bree, right? She is here and can just get the Moonstone from the Dryad herself. But the issue with that is that I think one of the... Having the, the Starfall really does help you uh, take down Yelmer. And the fight gets much easier um, once you have the Starfall. And so um, even though we have Bree who can just get it herself, I am still trying to get uh, the Starfall with Otis. Um, so yeah, and I am still risking it by bringing the barriers, but I think they're very good and really help in over the course of the, the start of the run. Um, so still bringing those and then I'm going to upgrade this uproot because in one of my previous runs, um, that I hadn't recorded, um, they were just like the, the fight against the Elmer went quite long and there were a couple of times where it was like, okay, the uproot would have been incredible on like multiple turns. And so doing that, I think, will help out. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is grab um, a Song of Celerity. Um, I think the two speed on everyone is going to be pretty good. Um, I think there will be spots where it's going to be really nice to have. Um, and then I'm going to take out a chant of... Hmm. Actually, no, I'm going to take out a shiv. The shiv is pretty bad. Um, at least the chance to get out of the way, let you get into your toxic rains and detection hunter's mark and uproots more quickly. Make sure you like are hitting your sweet melodies when you want to. Um, so I think that'll probably be better. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, sort of where I'm at for using up the shards. 
And uh, in this run, I'm going to have uh, Asmodee on Bree. Uh, she utilizes the resistances better than Gustav. Uh, having the slashing and fire resist on Bree is pretty good. She gets hit by a lot of fire spells uh, in the front uh, way more than Gustav. And then also the slashing, obviously she's getting hit more by that. Um, and because she has the, the mark perk, then she doesn't lose the extra mark charges. Um, before, only... Uh, the hunt or only scouts could take that or would have that perk and so now with the um, updated perk system uh, anyone can have it which is cool um, Gustav or not Gustav uh, Otis is taking Orby which uh, Orby is a very good pet um, talked about that last run um, just 13 sh block or 13 shield every turn an additional three heal on everyone it really adds up and I think is is awesome so um, that's where we're at. We have a bit of extra um, gold. We'll see if we can find any good um, items in the caravan or at the jeweler down the down the line. Um, okay, so nothing great here. We could we hmm. Interesting. I actually think Spike Bracer might be good. So her innate is five thorns. And she has the perk so that she doesn't lose charges. So basically, that means she's going to start with 12 and will never lose them. So, yeah. I'm going to try this and just see see how it goes. Because, like, I, I don't think, obviously, this isn't great. Like, I'd rather have any item that has, like, a flat resist percent. But... That is, I think, going to be quite... I think it'll be it'll be nice. It'll help her... Oh, yeah, so 13, because we got the extra... Um, the extra charge there, so... Okay, well, there's a, there's a Jasper here, so... We, we need to kill him ASAP. We cannot let him live. It was nice that Asmodee um, targeted him initially. Um, as I was saying, person in front often gets uh, the most burn and uh, the most uh, physical damage early on. So, okay, so um, let us uh, start going after Jasper. Um, I am going to give. Some extra energy to Bree, I think. I think that's the best. Um, she is going to be taking quite a lot of damage, and I don't think these other characters need the energy as much as she does. Okay, we are going to Sweet Melody off the burn. I think that'll be good. Okay, we did get a whole uh, healing rain, which is nice. Um, and then we'll heal up, uh, heal up right over there, and deal some damage to Jasper. So there's a good chance that we get to proc Jasper's dark this turn. Um, there are a number of cards that do it. If we draw um, dark pack, the uh, curse of shadows. I guess so. I guess no, that has to be it. Okay, so Otis is in trouble here. This sweet melody is going to save his life. So thanks for that. Um, am I using the power slave or the, or the song of celerity? Um, I think we want the song of celerity. Because then Gustav gets to go before them on his next turn. Okay, well, we hit. So we get to blow up the dark and uh, get Jasper out of here. He had uh, quite a few misses, um, but uh, we ended up getting there. So that's nice. Um, I think we get rid of the mark on ourselves, stack up some more... Uh, 
some more sh uh, thorns and target this living rock. That's the next person we want to take down. He deals quite a lot of damage. And then do some healing. Just double heal on Otis will be nice. And we're back in working order. It was a, a bit scary there for a second, but uh, we managed to sort of get, get through it. Um, okay, so a heal and an inspire for everyone will be good. And this, I think, shows why I am, have really liked these... Um, really like the Intimidates now with the extra mark charges and stuff. You just end up uh, dealing quite a bit of damage and uh, it has been quite nice. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna... I should have done this in the other order because I would have healed more. I guess I can do... This one here, and then Dark Pact, uh, the Initiate. I think that'll be good. And then Otis, sorry, yeah, three. This is just a waste, but. Okay, so we get to Atonement and uh, do a Dawnlight, and heal up Bree a bit. And there we go. Okay, we'll get rid of the mark, and then... I think just an invigorating blow will be best. Give some extra block over here. And it killed itself on the thorns. I'm actually, yeah, like, looking at how much thorns damage uh, Bree has done, I think this is a pretty nice uh, item to start with. The, the the helm that, like, does the same thing but then also gives resist, I think will be a really nice item to find on, on Bree. Just because the those starting charges really end up turning into quite a lot of damage over over a fight when they aren't being just immediately lost. So... Cool. Um, ooh, a steel skin. I mean, this card is just uh, crazy. Look how much block that gives. Two mana for like <laughs> 57 block over two turns. I mean, that's pretty pretty great. Happy with that. Um, I don't think I need a mental shake. That's just kind of meh. Curse of Agony is interesting. It is upgraded. So, what does the other upgrade do? More bleed, huh? Um, I mean, I don't mind it. It is less dark, which maybe... Maybe because it is so much less dark, I'm going to skip it. Um, do I want a chant of initiative? I think it might be okay. Okay, so we get to have Zek find his little hiding spot. Um, I'm going to grab an opal ring here. And then... I guess... Uh, yeah, 25 gold is probably just better. And then Zek grabs the Eerie Ring, because he has the extra Dark Charges. Oh, man. Um, this is interesting. I don't think this is easy. But if we could kill this, uh, this Sheep Shearer on turn one, then I think we could win this. Um, I just don't know that we ever can. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try it because, like, 
I think it's a pretty, I mean, we're early on in the run. It's a pretty huge upside if we can do it. And so let's just go. Let's see if we can. Um, okay, I'm going to double spike shield here. I, that's kind of not what I was expecting to do, but I think that's worth it. Um, I mean, hmm. Not, not ID, not an ideal start. Um. Okay, what do I want to do here? I think we need to target this guy and then. Hmm. Uh, give herself some energy, I think. Don't dispel. Okay. Oh, wait, he dispels first, I think. So. Okay, so you're telling me there's a chance here. So if we can kill him before he takes his turn, which we are quite quick, um, we would need. We need Zek to gain a fast. Oh, no. Uh, oh, he was shackled. No. Okay, well, um, I think we're screwed. I think we do die now. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this invigorating blow because it... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't get rid of my bleed. I got rid of that talent. Oh, man, there's so many talents. Um, well, so unfortunately, we did not speed up Zek enough so that he went before this guy to get the dark off. So now we are paralyzed, which is a bad sign for us. <laughs> okay, Zek's no longer paralyzed. That sheep is almost dead, though, so that's kind of cool. Oh, no. Okay, so this is the, this is definitely the worst possible outcome. Uh, everyone got paralyzed once, and, uh, <laughs> okay, so that one didn't work out, guys. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. Um, let's, uh, let's see if we can, we can get another run going, because that, that, that was, that was a quick one. Um, ooh, I was just talking about this. Hmm. Um, hmm. so the main issue with it in the starting shop is that we just don't have enough gold for it. We are 75 off, so maybe in the future i could take one more gold set um just to have the option of those type of uh, like that type of armor piece at the beginning um okay so let me really quickly go through this stuff I'm actually going to grab one of these this time. I really need to save his... Is deck. Uh, 
or save this version of it. Okay, and then... Okay, so Gustav has most of his. How much does this cost? 414. Okay, so we won't get the... This, this run, we won't get the um, uproot upgrade, but I think that's okay. Um, let's see here. Take out a shiv, that's fine. Um, and then we get to do one other upgrade for a 30 cost. Um, oh, we didn't leave the invigorating blow in. Maybe we probably should have, but, um, okay. We'll do just a ship upgrade. Why not? Um, and, uh, yeah, let's, let's get going. See what we can find. A fire book. I'm going to take a round shield on Otis. We'll see how it does. Okay, so... Interesting. I think we battle shout. I think that's probably best. And then I'm not sure if this guy's dispelling, so I'm just going to target the sheep instead. Okay. Let's just crush this sheep. And give some energy. And then we start after the shearer. Okay, so he did dispel, so I think it was worth it going after the sheep. This little guy is trying to trying to kill us. All the squirrels I've met have just wanted food from me, so it's a new experience. Um uh, da, 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 da. I guess we do this, it's fine. Um Ping Pong around, get him close to proccing the darkness. He then deals just a ton of damage. <laughs> So, the one extra shield is not enough to give an extra heal, but uh, it is one extra shield per turn, and uh, so it's basically like one extra heal for everyone <laughs> if they proc it. Um, that guy, I hope, is just going to die to dark damage, so I'm going to start marking up the sh uh, dolly back here. Get these out of the deck. Keep marking up dolly. Ow. Okay, um, so I guess we do that, that seems fine, and then just slap some damage at Dolly. Get some regen going. Um, and then the squirrel will die when it, uh, when, when we're able to proc the darkness on it. Let's see if we can 
get this bleed off of uh, Bree. Hopefully we draw the Cauterize this turn. Unfortunately not. Um, that's too bad. We did get to do that though. Okay. Let us shout a little bit. Get it all out. Okay, Zek. You're a healer now. <laughs> Let's see how much this heals for. 28. Not too bad. Not too bad. Guess we don't need to do that. Just end the turn, I think. So the squirrel is now dead to the burn. Cool, not, maybe not the best fight, but not the worst. All right, well, Expected Prophecy, I know it's a skill, it's gonna lower his chance, but like that, this card is insane. Have you ever, like, have you ever cast this? Oh my gosh, it's good. Um, the, hey, um, the other ones, nothing here. You don't need a Frostbolt or Fire Blast. Okay. Um, he did leave something here. Okay. Um, well, let's grab the resistance. We could grab a, sure, we'll grab a health potion. Why not? Um, sure. A ruby amulet. I, I feel like those kind of, those kind of items like ruby amulet and stuff. I'm <laughs> I have to be in a certain mood. I don't know why sometimes I take smaller stuff like this that are like marginal upgrades and why other times I don't. But uh, at least at the moment, I I think it's probably because I've been losing a bit more. Um, and so I'm like, okay, I need to more take more aggressive early game help like small upgrade items. Okay, well, we don't. Uh, I guess we could... Could we take anything out? Let's... I guess I could take a barrier out, but I don't really want to do that. So... Let's just go as is. Hmm. I think this is going to be better than the extra thorns. Having uh, eight mark on that guy, on the, the raider, is going to be very helpful. Okay, Zeki, you ever heard of a card called Cauterize? We <laughs> really enjoy that right now. Um, Prismatic Field's going to be good in this fight. We've got a Fire Ramp and whatnot going on, so... Um, we'll add some Dark. Okay, so that's a good hit. The sweet melody will be helpful. And then I'm just gonna save the energy. Being able to like do two of these is gonna be worth it, I think. Okay, well, I mean, that was a pretty nice first turn. Let's see. So I don't think too vulnerable is gonna make this guy take two additional damage. So that's out of the question, but we could do this. Probably gain the block ourselves and then start marking up the fire imp. Okay, so more mark on the fire imp and do a song of quickness. And 
And... If this bounces back to the imp, it will kill it. Nice, it did. So, imp down. I think this fight is fairly simple from here on out. Oh, well, that was the... Well, I guess it didn't matter. He did an evasion. Um, yeah, fairly simple from here on out. We're just uh, healing back up. Dolly's not really going to do tons of damage. Um, we just are going to stack a bunch of Mark Hunter now and uh, get this fight over with. Sure, Otis, you can have some sharp. Uh, I guess technically I can draw a shiv, so I should give the sharp to myself, but... <laughs> It does feel fairly useless. Oh, this dolly is immune to mark. Okay, well, she's gonna be more of a bother than I initially had uh, realized. But with the dark damage and the and that going on, I think we should be able to take her out. I'll put those back. That's that's sad. Maybe th maybe if she does her bite just a bunch, she'll die to the thorns. <laughs> How much thorns damage does uh, she dealt this round? 117, not or 112, I guess. Not too bad. Could have uh, dispelled that. I just didn't even think about it. Let's get some fortify. That'll be nice. Okay, who needs extra energy? Probably Otis. Probably myself. Casting a bunch of Sacred Bolts seems pretty good. Getting a bunch of Sanctify on her. Okay, get rid of the Dark so that you can start casting spells again. And the uh, Battle Shout. Oh, maybe... Maybe I should have gotten more Thorns. That might have been better, but... We went with the battle shout. Can't be too bad with that kind of damage coming out. Okay. Then you whistle at him, show him who's boss. And the sheep is down for the count. Took a bit longer because of the mark immunity, but uh, we're still able to push on through just fine. Okay, and an annoying whistle that is corrupted. So, two energy for 20 damage. I don't know that I need or really want that, so let's not take it. Um... Because I had another skill, I will just take another Dawn Light to fill out the deck a little bit more. Um, we don't need any of those. Um, do I want another Intimidate? I don't mind it, honestly. It might be okay. Okay, 77% chance, Otis. You got this. You got this. God. <laughs> no. Oh, why do I try? Oh, why do I? Why do I do this to myself? Okay, it's just it's his prep spell for your prep defense card for so he knows what not to do for uh, the dryad. This is uh, it's all going according to plan. <laughs> oh no! He was just trying to convert you, Pigman. Come on, let's see. Don't you want to listen to this wondrous Otis's voice? Um, sure, there we go. Don't 
on light a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I think we start marking up the guy. Oh, I should have done this first. Oh well. Um. See if we can proc the dark. We could. And very close to proccing the dark there. Do I have enough? I'm just gonna sweep melody twice here. That seems good. Goes to one. He's down for the count with the, that burn on him. Let's see. Uh, we should be able to kill him here. Not too much trouble. Cool. So we did, ooh, a barbed wire. We'll take that. It's even upgraded. It's kind of nice. Okay, we'll just keep adding dawn lights in our deck to match all the, the crappy stuff we are adding into it. Um, a whole bunch of wards is kind of bad. I don't know that I need it. Grab a normal divination. Quick one. Okay. Um. Ooh, Corrupted Malicious Eye is actually insane. That card is so good for him. He chains twice and adds four per chain, like hit. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, we don't need any of those. Do I want a Sacred Bolt? I don't really want one. Do I need one? I'll take it. Um, I don't think we need that. Okay, 79% this time, Modus. You clearly got it. Oh, it was the sacred pole we took. <laughs> it was needed the whole time. Um, I guess none of that's very good. Um... I think I'll just take gold and then I'll take an Acolyte's Robe because if he ever procs Dark on himself, we'd prefer that to deal less damage, so. Interesting. Corrupted Detection is quite good. But removing the car, the burn out of Otis's deck is probably better, so. We'll be slow this fight and hope to not die turn one. Okay, so barbed wire. Get some of this and hmm. I think we just add to take out this cutthroat. As fast as we can. And then save for four energy next turn. Okay. Um, Uh, he did nothing there. That was awesome. Um, good job trying to 
stealth. That's very, very appreciative. Uh, I'm very appreciative of that. Oh, I'm gonna use that this turn. Okay, we can end that guy's world and then continue on. So this is whenever damaged by others. Okay. Um, I think I just start going after the firebender. Yeah, that's fine. I maybe should have, hmm. I think I may have messed up here. This guy is gonna just have a ton of regen at some point. Okay, we'll do the double sweet melody. Try to take out the firebender if we can. He is hitting us pretty hard. Okay, well, uh, Malicious Eye. It's a very nice. I think I do need to Prismatic Field and then another one of these. Lots of Bouncing Dark Spells. Realize I probably should have cast the guard. Oh, wait. I totally just mind farted. I was like, okay, well, I have to cast these Dawn Lights first, like always. <laughs> Not realizing that I had a corrupted. Uh, is it Mind Visions? Oh, no, Expected Prophecy. Corrupted uh, Expected Prophecy. Okay. Okay, so we put it on the ooze. This isn't too bad. Okay, so he's up to 18. Mark, which is, uh, should mean he will be dying soon. I think we... proc some of this. Feel bad about proccing our own dark again. And then try to get everyone healed back up. Eighteen, holy crap, that's a lot of uh, lightning damage. So much spark. Okay, so that's a pretty chunky heal. It's nice. Compensates for the 16 <laughs> poison. This fight has gone awry a little bit. I think I, I made some poor decisions this, in this one. Man. 21, I don't, maybe that was bad, but maybe Otis and Zek kill him before he gets to take a turn. That would be ideal. Or, but like, oh wait, no, Zek goes before Otis. Okay, well, we're doomed. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's a 24. Oh, 
21 poison damage. Not great. Not great. Wow, Otis's deck is awful right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so bad. Ooh, battle shout. Okay. That was a that was a sad fight, but uh, we made we made it through. Ooh, an upgraded holy ripple, sweet. I'll definitely take that. Oh, we can take out a card. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um uh. I'm going to take out an intercept. Why not? Um, here. Uh. Oh, wait, no, he already took out the, the curse. Um, I'll just take out a chan. Oh, wait, no, he's only at 15. Okay. We are at 16 here. We could take out a uh, curse of exhaustion. It's not great. Okay. Don't particularly want to do that one. This fight, I think, is going to be pretty hard. Even if, oh my gosh, well, it's going to be very hard if they do stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more mark on the sky hunter and make sure it's never invisible. Um, oh, sorry, my mic goes uh, a bit out of place and got distracted. Um, okay, so I think the best way to survive here is to stack some dark here. Deal some extra dark damage. Heal for 14. Ow. Take a bunch of damage from their shiz. Um. Feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh. Oh, Gustav is now shackled. That's not good. Um, okay, so we can kill the Sky Hunter here. She's already slow, so I guess we can slow the tree even though that doesn't really matter okay that's the person i would have wanted to get hit by the lightning bolt oh those are the not the people i would have wanted to get bleed ow okay so oh we can stack up some sanctify here sing at them why don't you Okay. She has not killed us ye yet. That's the operative word. <laughs> yet. There's always more time for her to kill us. <laughs> um, I guess we start with that. 15 bleed, oh my gosh. Uh, 
Oh, there are a lot of people. Well, we do not want to do that. We would have died. We, are, we were at 20 dark. I'm sure somebody was screaming at their, their, <laughs> their screen as I, like, hovered and nearly cast it. Once again, misusing Dawnlight, as I forget what it does. <laughs> um, okay, I have three energy. I probably just want to save the Holy Ripple and use all of these other spells. Okay, so does this actually do anything? I guess it makes Otis faster than the tree, but like I'm not sure that that does much of anything. Okay, let's do that, and then I guess I guess it does something. Oh, nice! She didn't do her multi-hit thing, whatever this is called. Icy tornado. That's the that's the scary one for sure. And then I guess we do some get some insulate for the team. It's probably worth it. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you could stop making our team take a ridiculous amount of damage, that would be great. Uh, I think I could have killed this guy. Oh, he did nothing this turn. Oh, sick. That's the best. <laughs> you screw up, and then they are just immediately rewarded. It's my favorite. Um... Okay. Game three. Heal up a little bit more. Let's proc some Sanctify. Okay, well, not taking any of those. Don't need any of those. I guess I could take an upgraded Intercept, but that seems pretty bad, so. Okay, we've got an 80% chance to get the spell. Let's see if we can do it. Whoosh! Phew. That was a that was a scary moment right there. Um, okay, so I like defensive strategy quite a lot. Um, it's nice that uh, you can sort of uh, you can line it up and it gives you some extra draw power. Praise the sun is sweet. Uh, melodic rhythm is amazing. I really can't wait until they get him to the the blue version. Once you get the extra regen charge, ooh, this is gonna be even better. So, um, and then yeah, the one percent is cool, but uh, will be better. And then the Cursomancy, um, this will be so awesome once you um, get up to three dark on all monsters. Oh man! And one thing I didn't notice the first time around, I thought it was just reduces the curse spell by one on for this turn, but it's just a permanent reduction, which is awesome. That's really cool. Um, Soul Harvest is like, it's fine. I think it's worse though than Cursomancy, so. Okay, um, uh, yeah, let's not, I don't want to die. So <laughs> yeah, let's uh, hopefully make it through this one. Interesting. Um, okay, I need a repair armor. And then I need to decide who to go after. I think I put the mark on the cutthroat. Um, preventing him from going invis will help uh, save us a lot of pain for quite low cost. Uh, I don't think two regen and two heal is worth using on anyone, so 
with it uh, with the dispel not actually doing anything, then I think I will just uh, wait for a quick second. Okay, so I these hmm. It's interesting. So the the reduction on these does not actually do anything. The cost reduction. I guess it is a one mana savings and then we do apply four dark to all enemies so maybe yeah this is probably worth it because like if we um if we can kill them quick enough um then It doesn't really matter about the cost reductions, since uh, they'll be dead and we won't even get back to it, so. Ooh. Trunky's Earthquake is a painful ordeal. Um... see if we can't find um, a defensive strategy would be good a repair armor or battle shot would be good oh this is very good oh whoops oh I've done this all wrong <laughs> that was like the worst played turn of all time oh my gosh Okay, not the worst of all time. I've I've literally just like murdered people on turns. <laughs> I guess it's not that bad, but it wasn't great. Um, I guess uh, just some I can spread it around a little bit. Okay. Um, so this guy is gonna proc dark if I do this. And then we can I guess I'll do that and then that I should have cast I should have used both on the brigand actually or both on the U's, since now he gets a turn. Oh, Bree, no! <laughs> okay, so this is a good turn. I saved the Dawnlight because I wanted to make sure I had the option to heal off some Sanctify if I needed to. Ooh, Bree's in rough shape. Hi, so this is future me um, coming in. I got a work message that I had to reply to while I was doing this run and uh, ended up having to pause the video and go and deal with that and then when I came back, I thought I'd restarted and didn't until uh, the boss fight. So um, here we are, partway through the boss fight. And uh, yeah, so oh, sorry you didn't get to see the beginning of this, um, but there you didn't miss too much in between. So anyway, um, here's the rest of the run. Okay, so let's just uh, get going. Oh, well. I guess I'm not actually sure. I think I think that was maybe more damage. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure with like because because the sanctify adds extra damage. So I wasn't sure if the card in hand or the extra sanctify on him would deal be dealing more damage. Not not totally sure on that. Um. Okay. So. He does have fire on him, so it's fine, right? 
Because this, this fire goes, like, down at the end of turn. So we can proc the dark, and it's actually okay, I think. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay, you had the one burn on him, which then let us keep the mark. And then... Can add some more. Can do a battle shout to give us a little bit of extra damage. Do the rhythm. Um, this, I think, ensures it with Otis going. Um, I think if he draws any damage card, it ends. <laughs> oh, God. We could do it. Can you imagine if we drew barrier, barrier, heal, heal, heal? <laughs> I would laugh pretty hard. That would be so bad, though. Okay, we did it. Whew. Um, that was a really nice start to the fight. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Ooh, an adrenaline upgraded is awesome. Oh, what are these? Curse of Vulnerability. That one's good. Curse of Madness is decent. Um, Darkness Falls upgraded, though. Wow, that's a crazy... I think that might be it. Um, I'm going to just take shards here. That is such low damage. Grinding Wheel... Am I ever taking Shrill Tone? I don't think so. I think I have to just take Fanfare. Man, but Grinding Wheel... Hmm. Grinding Wheel, I can switch to this version, and then that's a pretty sweet skill. And maybe I can do the mind damage with the Sharp. Hmm. Oof. I'm gonna take Darkness Falls. That card seems awesome. Um. And oh man, Grinding Wheel is so good. So like, I just throw bolas, but I've been somewhat unimpressed with throw bolas recently. Um. Uh, da, 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 no, I can't. I, I can't. I don't think that's worth it. Oh. Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Slow down. I did just get an upgraded adrenaline. Does that help enough? I don't have any of the damage perks, but I don't think that really matters. Because if I have, like, I guess the main perks that I'm missing are the sharp not being able to come off. And uh, it can't be purged. I don't know why. What the? Can I not exit this? Do I have to hit escape? Oh, it's because I had this. What? No, that was weird. I don't know. Oh, man. Um, I 
Okay, what is the other version? It's up to three times. So 12 sharp. Twelve sharp, huh? So costs four energy, but it could be three if I, I'm going to get the skill thing. So no, I'm sure somebody wanted me to do it, but uh, just couldn't bring myself there. I'll grab a shield of thorns, so that one's cool. Um. I'm gonna grab just some gold. It's interesting that that's not a healing spell. Um, I guess uh, could take gauntlets. It's not great. Yeah, I'll just take gold. That's fine. Okay, I hadn't really thought about it at this point. What I'm gonna, where I'm gonna go next. Um, blue portal is I I don't know. I don't know what you do in blue portal. <laughs> I don't know that there's anything great in green portal. Um. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything with Maluka and Zek that does something cool? I don't know. Let's let's go blue. I want to I want to learn blue. Um, I think it'll be fun to 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 go here and sort of. I have, I I went through here to like unlock the characters. I've been here like once on Madness sixteen, so I really I really don't know what is good or bad here. So. Let's just uh, take a look at what we have. Oh my. That, that's an item. That is uh, <laughs> that is so good. Um, yeah. Okay, well, let's grab a Chalice of Kings. Otis, look at you go. <laughs> You're a king now. <laughs> He's always been a king. Um, <laughs> what else do we want to do? Do you want to buy a bunny? Um, I, I don't know if anyone has uh, has seen the bunny fight, but if you know, if you have, <laughs> you've been to hell and back <laughs> because that fight is insane. I could not believe it. We, <laughs> I wish I had it recorded. We, uh, Overwork and I, we were playing a run, and uh, it was it was something else. Um. Yeah, I don't have enough for any of those. Okay, what upgrades do I want to do? What do I want to set up? I really don't know. Um. Okay, so Otis, I am going to assume that we do not want these healing rains anymore. I am also going to assume that we can take out sacred, at least the unupgraded sacred bolts. Um, I think just for consistency's sake, I'm going to grab, well, okay, I need to look at what else we're doing. Okay, so skills, are there any cool skills that I want Bree to have? Uh, kind of all nonsense at the moment. Don't know that I want much of any of these. Um, Gustav. Are there any cool songs that I want Gustav to... Oh, not song. Song. Um, oh, yeah. I want a Ballad of Evasion. So let's buy it. I think that's worth it. Um, and then... Um, I'm going to remove these chants. Goodbye to the my sharp dreams. Um, I 
can get rid of the uproot and the shiv. Okay, and then for Zek here, I'm going to get rid of the two Curse of Exhaustions. don't think they're great at this point. One thing I was thinking about, do they have... How much does this cost? A Heat Wave only costs 42. So I'm actually going to buy a Heat Wave for this act. <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but uh, I think uh, it could be nice. And then I'm going to probably remove a dark pact. It's not a curse, so it doesn't interact with curse no man or curse mancy. And then. Uh, we are, like, I want to be casting these Dark Rituals a little bit more, and so uh, we don't want to stack Dark on ourselves too quickly. Um, okay, so help deal with the Holy Fire is a card I probably want to grab a copy of at some point, but right now we don't need it. I'm going to grab a Detoxify and upgrade it to stay in the deck. And then I'm also, I think I'm gonna grab um, just a, a Dispel Magic. I think it'll be worth it. Um, to have another person able to Dispel. Um, I'm gonna start removing some Dawn Lights. <laughs> I think that's fine to remove those. Um, you know what? I don't think I ever really want to cast the Sacred Bolt. So we're going to remove that and then remove a Sunbeam. And then we get down to a pretty clean deck of like Holy Ripple, Starfall, Sunbeam, Dispel Magic, Detoxify, and Fanaticism. And I think that'll be pretty good. Um... For Bree, huh. we really did not improve her deck very much. Um, hmm. Here, I'm going to pause real quick, and I will want to check a few things, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um... And uh, Sue, so the final stuff I want to do with Bree's deck. Um, it's not looking great. <laughs> I think Bree, Bree's in for taking a bunch of damage. I, I suspect. Um, but we'll we'll try our best. Let's. Uh, I think we take out one spike shield. And uh, and then I think one intimidate is gonna be fine, and then and then one intercept, and then we let's just upgrade this inter two block. Oh gosh, that's awful. Um. Okay, what I'm gonna do is up. Buy a defend and then upgrade the defend. And then I think then just take out this intercept. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that'll make her tanky enough. I don't know if it will. Otis has got a cool Chalice of Kings. We'll see if that can carry us. We, the unfortunate thing is we have found no armor. So that's scaring me that basically everyone is just sort of very frail at this point um let's uh see what we can do though um beggars at the gate yeah i don't know i don't know what any of these nodes do so <laughs> i'm like very lost here um i we, i mean we could come up this way and go here with the moonstone like i don't know I don't know what that does now that we've unlocked her. 
but maybe it'll do something cool. Um, uh, da, 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 da. What's this? Owl Sanctuary. Owl Depleted Guardian Owl Sanctuary. Maybe we can just come to the Owl Sanctuary and do something cool there. I don't actually know what that event does either. Or the Grove? Wow. I, just, uh, I have no idea. Well, we're not going to succeed that, so I guess that was a wasted event. Oh, <laughs> uh, what are these fights? Uh... Owl Sanctuary versus this event with the Moonstone. Hmm. hmm. Let's come up this way. I don't want to do deal with that. I feel like we are very likely to die if we do that. making me feel like we're very likely to die even without that effect. <laughs> that was a bunch of damage. I did not enjoy that. Uh, can't mark him up. Um, I mean, I guess we can just try to kill the raider. Even though he has the evasion, he's got a bunch of marks. Okay. Heal that. Not too bad. Um, okay. And then I think I want to give Otis some extra energy. Praise the Sun is better with more cards, but, like, that was quite a lot of damage just from the two hits. So, I often, um, if I draw it with, like, two cards I can play with it, then I, I'll use it. Um, just because I think getting the extra Sanctify out there earlier is often going to be worth the, the loss sort of value that you would get later in the fight. Okay, let's get some more... Let's get some more sight on uh, this uh, stalker back here. Ooh. That was... Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, actually, maybe this is fine. I probably should have gotten the evasion, though. But that is a lot of regen and healing. The evasion is probably going to be better, though, when Josh takes his next turn. So <laughs> I've, probably, I've probably screwed that up a little bit. Um, I will use this prismatic field. I don't know how, um, and then I'm not going to cast another dark spell. I'm kind of worried about that. Okay, so... We can use Detoxify and then Fanaticism and then I think, uh, what, what's better to cast first out of these two? I think I want to Holy Ripple first. Ice Harpoon, Corrupt Harpoons, that's not very nice. I would really like to, yeah, this is the one I was hoping for. Defensive strategy is going to be 100% needed this this turn. Um, I think we want the block for everyone more than we want 
to remove the mark, so... The whirlwind is why I really wanted to draw the defensive strategies to hopefully block out some of that damage, which it uh, did pretty effectively. Um, sure, we can start with this. It'll heal uh, Gustav a bunch from the, all of the Sanctify. Okay, so... Heat wave so far fairly un unimpressive, but uh, it'll get its time to shine at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> um, is there any reason to not use both of these? I could. I could dispel. So they are all going after this. So what's going to be the best chance of us not dying? Um, I think I... Hmm. I guess I could dispel myself here. And then use Holy Ripple. Oh, close. I. Hmm. Oh, nice. He only got the one action. I think. Thorns are kind of nice. Okay, I want to learn this guy's abilities. So. He uses patience, which gets rid of dark, sanctify, and insane. Interesting. Gives himself courage. He heals the lowest HP monster. He. Deals damage based on, or he applies poison based on wet and applies um, decay. Interesting. Gives people the puffer fish that we've been drawing. And then cast and pale on the front hero. Okay. And then also frost tycoon. Okay. There's some interesting stuff going on there. Um, I will dispel, I think. That's best. do that. I'm not sure that that's best, but I think it'll be good. Ooh, that's a nice heal. Um, okay, let's do a prismatic field and then give Otis. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting to look. Okay, well, we can use our fanaticism. That's fine. And then... Man, he's decaying. That's pretty rough. Well, I hope Zek doesn't die because I used that. Okay, looks like we're okay. Okay, so get that off of him. That'll be good. And, uh, toxic rain and I think I'll use a song because then we're ahead of the them next turn just in case um I think I messed up a little bit with Zex deck. <laughs> he only has this like one one cost curse. So I I think one thing I want to do is add some more curses to the deck if I can find them. Um I feel like uh, currently he is not set up great to take advantage of <laughs> curseomancy. So if we can find some cool ones that'd be nice. Um I can just kill that guy. That's fine. Okay, the Ballad of Evasion is back. We're going to skip casting it at once again, because I think this one's better. And then we can give some extra stuff there. going to mute for one second.
Okay, I am back. Um, I don't know if any of this really matters, but we can do that. Oh no, Otis has a puffer fish. The decay is kind of annoying. We finally got to reduce the cost of some of this stuff. Okay, fight one down. Ooh, a repair armor that's upgraded. I'll definitely take that. Um, I don't think I need any of these. Ooh, Curse of Decay. That's a nice one. Corrupted version. Um, the normal version would have been okay. I really like the upgraded, the base one, just because like you can get the discounts on it. Um, but uh, the corrupted, the three cost like corrupted version. That's just a ton of damage and decay and dark, so it's pretty cool. Okay, how close are we to leveling? Oh, you can see right here. 237 out of 480. So we are a decent way away. Um, interesting. Thorn proliferation. So... I think this is doable. I think uh, we're adding quite a lot of Sanctify. And so if we have enough Sanctify on them, like as long as, as long as the Josh isn't immune to Sanctify, which he's not, which is very good for us, then I think we'll be okay. The extra damage is definitely gonna hurt, um, giving them all two extra damage. This beginning of the fight shows why, just a, Extra couple of hits on everything is uh, can be quite scary. Um, but if we win, then it's a pretty nice bonus. And uh, so let's uh, see if we can do it. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess we are always doing this. And then I think... I think I, I'm always doing that, and let's target down that guy. We are getting quite a lot of thorns. <laughs> We'll be fine, right? Right? Okay, shield generator. Good, good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pretend like this is fine. It was. We're good. <laughs> um... Okay. AoE cards are always nice because you get to take off more thorns than you put on. <laughs> These fights are always super funky. Take off, That's a bunch of bleed to remove. Okay, this is a very important battle shout. Giving everyone fortify for these guys is going to be very, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna heal myself. 11 thorns, huh? Okay, well, I can. I can do that for sure. Oh, he's got 17 sanctify. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Okay, um... We'll put this back. I think this is worth casting. And then, let's see, what's going to be the most important thing here? I think we're moving this decay. Oh, Ballad of Evasion is so good this turn. And we get the defensive strategy. Yeah, blocking the whirlwind damage, at least in par, is uh, going to be very nice for us. Okay, so I think we do the we start with this and then we cast one of these. To give our Curse of Shadows the discount, because that one stays in the deck. Oh. Sadness. Overwhelming. Um, okay, so I think I need to get rid of the decay. I, we kill this guy. And then we just block for ourselves. And then we save... Hopefully, uh, Zach can give him some energy next turn, and then he'll have a much better next turn. Um... Okay, Otis is going to be the one attacking here, so he's the one who we want with the energy. So unfortunately, we did not... draw a dark... where we did not draw a dark ritual. Um... Hmm, how do we want to do this? We don't have Reinforce on Zack, so he's going to take a bunch of damage if he hits anyone. Um, we could Black Death first just for the dark charges, but I'm not sure that that's great. This guy does do a fair chunk of cold damage, so maybe I just Prismatic Field? Okay, so I need to start stacking Sanctify on Josh. Oh, wait, this guy purges Sanctify. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to figure something out for him. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to, oh, I don't know. Okay, well. Let's just do this. Oh no, Gustav. Oh no, Bree. It does feel like it's all fallen apart. <laughs> this may not have been the choice, the correct choice. Um, let's see, so, yeah. 
Guess we can battle shout. Um. Okay, that's a good deal. Uh, we're gonna need, oh gosh, okay, well. People are healthier than they were last turn. <laughs> but they are just stacking up that thorns. Okay. Um Let's uh, just keep giving armor to Otis so that he can keep attacking. And then... I think we dispel Zack so that he can... I think I need to continue poisoning because I think we have to kill this Fisher like 100% with poison, so... 27, huh? Um. <laughs> oh, this fight. Um. 36 thorns, huh? Ah, uh, if I had kept around the. The uproot upgraded, then this fight would have been so easy. Um. Okay, so. We basically want. I think I just have to end turn there. Okay. Not the worst. <laughs> Could be better. Not the worst, though. Um. Okay. Sylvie, you're doing some damage. Nice. Okay, this is... Oh, wait. Hmm. Is it better to gain... I think... Hmm. I do not know if it's better to battle shout or guard repair armor Otis. I think the... Hmm. I think the guard repair armor Otis is the way we need to do this. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of his bleed, because that is dealing quite a lot of damage to us. Whew. Um... Twenty nine. Okay, but we procked the dark on him, so maybe that was worth it. <laughs> okay. Well, we didn't come here to not do this, so. Okay, well. 
Whew, it looks like we made it through this. This is a crazy fight. I'm surprised that uh, that we we did it. That's cool though. Um. So is this actually, we were at 59, go to 63, nice. <laughs> that was, uh, that was good. Oh my gosh, how long, has this been the whole run? Oh my gosh, part of the screen has been, uh, off for the whole run. Well, I'm sorry about that, well, we're back to normal. <laughs> I just barely looked at my, uh, I don't know how that happened. I must have adjusted something at some point. Um... Okay, we don't need anything there, don't need anything there. Um, I don't think we're taking a Holy Smite. Yeah, probably not. Oh, those seem very interesting. That was a fun fight, though. That was that was really cool. Um, yeah. Whew. Um, okay, so Owl Sanctuary or Grove? I think we just go to the Owl Sanctuary. Maybe you can sing him a song. He did not. The elf teaching teaches the ancient song to Gustav, and after a while, they both start singing. His interpretation is really bad. The owls get furious and start clawing him, provoking several wounds. The very angry elf, elf asks you to leave before things get even more complicated. At least they've, you've learned the ancient song. Did he even get it? He didn't get the song. Um, okay. Well, uh, we can... <laughs> we can now uh, remove that curse. So let's let's do that. That seems good. <laughs> His interpretation is quite bad. It is really bad. That was a, an interesting way of putting it. Um, okay, so... Huh. I think I just take out this dark pact. Yeah. I just I haven't been wanting to cat you like use it, so I think that's fine. Um and I'm wondering if I want to take out the spiked shield. I might use it more often later, but I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to take it out. I haven't been casting it very often, so. Okay, broken wall, and we go to the armory, and then there's like a sort of crazy fight over here, or the, we can come down this way. 30% off for our equipment shop seems pretty decent. Let's try that. Maybe we all die though. As with any fight, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, now there are there are four people going before us, so it looks like we are all dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Gustav, no. Okay, well, we actually are all dead now. <laughs> well, I don't know that the one damage extra on that was gonna. I don't know that the one damage extra caused us all to die. I think we may have been all dying anyway. So, well, that was a fun one. I will be back with uh, more comps and more runs. Um, hopefully we'll get a win sometime soon. But uh, yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting um, run and some fun fights. Uh, I'll be back soon. Remember to like the video and subscribe and let me know what you want to see. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon.